Hey Tech fans, AJ here. In this video I'm going to show you how to use an azimuth off a known location to draw a range and bearing line so you can triangulate um, a, a location. The idea came from the San Bernardino National Forest who's getting more involved with TAC. They said, hey AJ, we've got these, these uh, fire lookout towers. They give us an azimuth. You know, usually we'll intersect those to figure out where a smoke mo might be located that's been reported. You know, is there something we can do digitally within TAC? And the first thing I thought of was using the Polar Coordinate Entry Tool. So I created a layer in TAC of their um, fire lookout towers. They have seven on the San Marino National Forest. And in this example, we'll draw a range and bearing line from each of, say, three reported fire lookout towers to help triangulate where a fire might be located. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go over to uh, Butler Peak. And we'll click on it, and you'll get the radio menu. And about the 7 o'clock position, you'll get the polar coordinate entry tool. And you click on that. And the first thing we're going to do is enter the bearing off it. So we're going to say at from Butler Peak, they're reporting at 258 degrees and a range of 5 miles. They see a smoke. And the option we're going to do is put create a range and bearing line. You can do create point as well, or you can do both. We're just going to put create and range and bearing line because we want to see where these lines from these different um, fire lookout towers intersect. I hit create r and line, and now you can see that it's put it at 258 degrees and 5 miles from Butler Peak. And then the next reporting location is over at Keller Peak. And Keller Peak is reporting the smoke at 330 degrees. And they're putting it at 5 miles out. And we'll create that range and bearing line. All right, now we've got two intersecting, which is going to be a pretty good, pretty good spot to put uh, a, a location that's looking at inspiration point here up above... Uh, Green Valley Lake, and let's add a third. So let's say that Strawberry Peak over here, it's, low, it's seeing it at 85 degrees at a range of nine miles. Create that RMB line, and now we've got where we can see all these are coming together in this area. Now I can use my point dropper tool, get over to the GeoOps wildfire markers, click on that and then just drop one in this region and now I've got this fire location dropped on a map now I can push this to a server and then everybody can see this location um, I could have pushed these RMB lines as I created them too now imagine a fire lookout tower has connectivity to the server and they can push these RMB lines out independently and then we can all be on the same picture of, of you know where this fire might be located at I hope this uh, video was helpful in learning how you can use the polar coordinate entry tool to triangulate a location. Thanks for watching.